Morning, everybody. This is just another taxpayer driving to work. Hey, listen. My last video, I made a, a, a asked a question. You know, at what tax percentage would you consider yourself a an all-out slave to the government? And I got a couple responses, but I wanted to elaborate a little bit more about my feelings. Um, you know, I'm driving to work right now, and I see state lands on one side, no camping, no hiking, no shooting. On the other side, the mountains, where you have to, uh, you're allowed to drive up there, but if you want to camp, you have to pay a fee, you know, and, and whatnot. Uh, there's all kinds of federal lands here in Arizona, uh, and my point of these barriers, these fences, is, you know, from what I could tell, reading history books, um, our meager government schooling, as well as some uh, television shows, uh, you know, documentaries, uh, uh, unfortunately, our history, uh, African Americans were kept as slaves um, on what they call plantations, and around these plantations, there was uh, some type of fencing, sometimes barbed wire, sometimes, many times, uh, men uh, patrolling it, uh, these fences, so the, the, the slaves wouldn't escape out of the sl system of slavery. And I come to the conclusion, are we living in the same scenario? S uh, psychologists have said that a better slave is a slave who thinks they are free. Think about that who believes they are free. We are told we're free. But are we free? Now, I realize that all society must have some rules. But are we really free? As I said, I see fences and barbed wire and wired fencing, state lands, federal lands, uh, and... and and don't get me wrong, if I want to go camp, and I can, but the rule is you can only camp two-day, three-day increments here, then you got to come back down into this uh, city, which I claim is really a plantation. With the invisible plantation fences. Now think about that. I'm allowed to leave the plantation, go camping after I pay a, a tax, a licensing, a privilege fee. I'm allowed to go fishing after I pay their, uh, their, their little fee, but then I need to come back here and into onto the plantation. Are we, my question is, are we bred? And I say bred in as a farm animal, are we bred just for our tax revenue? Would the elite really be the elite without us? There is a tax incentive for a lot of families who have an additional kid. Why is that? Is that because that kid will grow up and be a tax servant? People say, Brian, but you are free. You're allowed to pick up and move from Tucson, Arizona. No, but I'm allowed to go to another plantation. Call Tampa Bay, maybe, San Francisco, Denver, Colorado. I am not allowed to permanently go into the mountains, put up a structure, and live by myself in peace. If I do, I can be imprisoned, fined, and then told to move back onto the plantation. And my plantation is Tucson, Arizona, where I am to go to work eight to 10 hours every day and give 30% of my paycheck, 35% of my paycheck. And that's not all we pay. That's just paycheck, taxes that come out of the paycheck. But every time we want to do something, we have to pay a privilege tax. They call it a license. They'll have you believe you're free. They'll have you believe that you own your home. But the fact of the matter is, if you paid off your home today, you still need to pay taxes on that property. You never really own it. 
if you don't pay those taxes, they don't take the house and say, here, you can have the house and wheel it to wherever you want. We're taking back our property. No, they take the house and the property. I know how ridiculous that sounds, but you never really own that property. You will pay taxes on that home until the day you die. And if you don't, they'll take it back from you. It is never yours. And when you want to build a house, a room onto your home, you need to go and ask permission to build on to your home. So is it your home? And then the inspector can come back and say, yeah, 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 you can build. Uh, give me, uh, you need to pay your, uh, your, you know, your, uh, your fee. Give me, uh, so you're, so you can build. Uh, so it's real. Are we really free? Is what I'm coming down to. Or are we led to believe we're free? I thought these lakes and these mountains were ours. I thought these parks and hiking trails and campgrounds were ours. And that the government just works for us. No, that's what they tell us. They work for us. But that is not the truth. They do not work for us. We work for them. We ask permission to go on. Does that sound normal? We ask permission to go uh, fishing and uh, by paying a licensing fee? Come on! We are slaves, I contend. All the taxes we pay, you know, and, and then, then there's other taxes, you know, there's, you know, every time you pay a bill, your, your cell phone down to your cell phone to, to construction taxes, uh, uh, if you want to add on to your, your property, um, the list, uh, marriage, you got to pay a tax to get married, for crying out loud, a anyway, think beyond my words, leave a comment, I believe we're living in a, on plantations, although those barriers that that a plantation might have, you know, barbed wiring, I think they're here, but they're just invisible. Uh, they're, you know, they're known as federal lands and state lands and all kinds of this and that lands and whatnot. And uh, I'm going to just end this video with saying this. It is my belief that slavery never ended was perfected. Have a great day.